All right, guys, welcome to our 32nd and last video on our series of introduction to PHP and MySQL before we start jumping into MySQL. So in this video, I want to talk about array pointers and how to understand them. So now that we know how to use continue and break, I want to talk about array pointers because they're going to be good when we start dealing with databases. So I'm going to go ahead and create a variable with an array. So I'm going to go ahead and open up create new PHP tags. And I'll call this array VP equals array. And I'm just going to throw some numbers in here. And I'm going to throw in four for Lou Gehrig, uh -oh, six for Jay Cutler, eight for Steve Young, I don't know, 12 for Aaron Rodgers, um, 20 for Barry Sanders, and 44 for John Lynch, I guess. Okay, so we created our array. So as we know, computers start counting at zero. So our array pointer is always somewhere in our location of an array. So by default, it's going to go ahead and start here because this is our first element in the array. So not only are we going to talk a little bit about array pointers, but I want to point out a couple other PHP functions as well. So let me go ahead and create new PHP tags. I'm going to drop this down a little bit. And let's go ahead and echo create, um, nope, give it a, a one and a semicolon, and I'm going to concatenate, a P, I'm going to concatenate, give it another space, a PHP function that is called current, and it lets us know, and type in our variable, since we only have one variable, it should be the one that is called VP, I'm going to concatenate, another break tag, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go ahead and create a comment over here. So I'm going to create the width in my text editor. And the current function, okay, the PHP function current, what does it do? It lets us know what elements the array is currently, the array pointer is currently sitting at. So let's go ahead and save this and I'll open it up in our browser. Okay, so our first position is four. We knew that, even though we wrote one right there, because remember humans start counting at one and computers start counting at zero. Okay, so we knew that. So let's create another PHP function and this one's called next. So I'm sure you guys probably are picking up that anytime you see a word that's right next to parentheses like that, that's not a loop, it's a PHP function. So let's go and create another PHP function. And let's go ahead and close that out. And I'll create a comment of what this stands for. This is a PHP function that moves the array pointer to the next element in the array. So we'll go ahead and echo the second and we'll go concatenate our current function that we just used, VP. I'm going to concatenate another break tag and I'm all over the map with my quotations right now. And I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to go ahead and reload it now. Okay, so with this PHP function, we just moved the array pointer from here to the next one over. So now our second position is six. Our first position is four. Now our second position is six. Now I'm going to show you guys another PHP function, which is reset VP. I'm going to close that out. And this is a PHP function that starts the array pointer back to the first element in the array. Right, so let's go ahead and echo our third location, what we think is going to be eight, but it's not anymore because we created, we didn't create, but we added the PHP function of reset, so it's going to start back over to our starting point at zero, and zero is equal to four. So let's go ahead and finish the rest of this. We're going to concatenate our PHP function of current, and we'll see where our pointer is at now. Let 
and that should work. Let's go ahead and reload it. Perfect. Okay, so we saw where our first position was at, and it was at our element of four right up here, and then our second one was at because we added the PHP function of next. But for our third um, position, we created the PHP function of reset, which started our array pointer back to our, st our starting spot of four, which is zero. Zero is four, one is six, two is eight, three is 12, four is 20, and five is 44. So again, this, this probably isn't gonna make a ton of sense right now because we're not really dealing with the database, but at least you guys know how a little bit more about PHP array pointers because they're always at a location. It just it just doesn't. I mean, it's got a starting place and it's got an ending place. And hopefully, you guys have an understanding of the PHP function of current, next, and as well as reset. So in the next video, we're going to start jumping into MySQL. So I'll see you guys.